Hi guys, my name is Edgar and we're going to be learning Marty Freeman's Inferno. Uh, this arrangement's going to be the one that he plays live. Let's get to it. Alright, it starts out with this diminished lick. Uh, kind of, <laughs> I don't know what to call it. It uh, starts on A, it goes to B flat, and then it skips a string, goes to F and E. <laughs> And it does the same pattern, but a minor third up. It does the same pattern, but it starts on the higher string, one string higher on the G. But yeah, and he slides into uh, the last note. So it's a hammer on, and then a slide. So it this next section it changes tempo to 170 and uh, he's playing 16th notes he goes up to a he's going up the b minor scale up to a then he uh, like this and then he starts from the C sharp, and once he hits the G, he goes back down uh, to the C sharp. And he repeats that three times. And then after he does that three times, uh, or three measures more, <laughs> And he hits the leading tone, which is the A sharp. Uh, and then he does it uh, three more times. Sorry, guys, I'm reading from my uh, transcription, uh, which I'll have down. I'll try to put it in the description. Yeah, he does it three more measures. <laughs> It's uh, C natural, so it's not. That's it for that section. So uh, let me review that one. section it's uh he goes down to the f sharp and runs up uh f sharp minor it's an f sharp minor lick he goes up to the fifth degree he goes back down then he goes and then he plays the whole scale up to the octave so it's uh <laughs> same lick but on the starting on C so a tritone away five he then starts to go up this uh, F sharp diminish uh, diminish seven uh, lick which is uh, which is basically you're starting on F sharp and you're going up a minor third <laughs> so it's pretty easy uh, it's... all right that whole section is this next lick is an F sharp diminished lick um, but he adds like a, a neighboring note or tone. Um, that's the thing that Marty does when sometimes he plays a diminished pattern. He just adds a, a note, a chromatic note to just give it that exoticness. This chromatic note is going to be F or E sharp. 
uh, I'm gonna call it E sharp. <laughs> it's uh, so it's gonna be uh, F sharp, E sharp, G sharp, and then it's gonna go back to F sharp, E sharp, G sharp. That's how this uh, lick starts. So it's, and then it goes to C, back to G sharp, and to E sharp. And then um, it repeats the the first motif with the, when it where it started at F sharp. So, and then it ends on the C. And so all together, it's. minor third and play uh, the exact same thing so. yeah it's the exact same pattern so both of those are gonna sound uh, this next section is a uh, we're still in the diminish F sharp diminish mindset but we're full on uh, just playing the diminish F sharp diminished arpeggio, but it's starting on the flat five, which is uh, C. So we're starting on C, goes down to uh, F sharp. So it's F sharp, A. I mean not F sharp. I'm sorry. C, uh, A, and then F sharp. And it goes down. It goes through that pattern twice. So. Da -da -da. And it ends on the C. So, it's... and then he uses pinky to slide up and go to the next position. So, it's... and then he does it again. And then uh, you end up on the uh, F sharp. Then he switches to his first and plays the F sharp again. And then he goes for this chromatic chromatic martiness <laughs> he starts on the f sharp goes to f sharp g g sharp and then a a sharp c c sharp uh, this is part where it's not chromatic where it goes from the a sharp to c and then um, it goes to uh, C sharp and then D and then he bends it up to a D sharp. So it's so that whole section is uh, it works out like